Well, it's actually really easy. We already placed it right there. And now whenever we want to align it either to the left, right, top or bottom, we need a new parameter called sticky. Now what the sticky parameter says is, okay, inside that container, do you want to place it to the right, which means right align, left, left align, so on and so forth. Well, if we want to place it to the right, write sticky E. Now, whenever we're using the grid, it's not going to take left, right, um, top, bottom. It's going to actually take N, E, S, W, and that stands for north, east, south, and west. Of course, north is on top, east to the right, south on the bottom, west to the left. Simple enough. So sticky E means place this to the right. In other words, right align this. Um, you know, simple enough. So now, actually, I'm going to right align both of those. So now, check it out. How simple is that? We just right aligned it. Don't believe me? Check it out. So now name and password are both right aligned, even though you really can't tell password because, you know, it's already nice and tight. This is how I want my text fields to appear. Pretty awesome. So since I have a little bit of time left, there's one thing that, I'm, that I pretty much can show you guys, and that's this. Now, say that we're making a login for like, I don't know, a website. So what we can do is we can actually add something to the bottom of this. That's a little checkbox that says, keep me logged in. That way, whenever they close out of the software and open it back up, they're already logged in and they don't have to type their name and their password every single time. Now, if you're saying, okay, well, are we gonna put it in the first column or the second column? Well, another, neither of them look really big enough to have a checkbox and keep me logged in. So I'm going to show you guys, what if you want to add a widget that takes up two columns? Well, what you can actually do is you can pretty much do that. Well, I'll show you right now. So of course, whenever you want to add a keep me logged in checkbox, you need a checkbox first. So I'm going to show you guys how to create a checkbox right now. Now, make a variable I'm gonna name mine C just because why not and set it equal to this check button that's gonna give you that uh, wow I cannot talk look come on Bucky <laughs> that square little box that you can either check or uncheck now eventually whenever we actually program this it's gonna be equal to the value true or false depending if it's checked or unchecked but for right now I'm just gonna show you guys how to place on your screen so this creates that box where do you want to place it somewhere in the main window and what text do you want to appear to the right of that checkbox well the text we just want to say keep me logged in or signed in however you want to phrase it so now we created it the only thing we need to do now is place it somewhere on our grid so see whenever we want to place stuff we don't use pack anymore we use grid now remember since we want this to take up two columns we need a new parameter called column span and set this equal to two so it's not just going to be in one little um, field it's actually gonna pretty much take two columns or two cells, think of them like that, merge them together and be displayed right in there. So name is in one cell, password is in one cell, this and this each take up one cell. But what this widget does, this keep me logged in widget, is it takes in one row, it merges two cells from two different columns and it places it in the center of those. So check it out, we now have a name, password, two inputs and a keep me logged in widget how freaking easy is that and it's all really simple to understand say what row do you want to make it appear in what column boom we can now make pretty sweet freaking GUIs so again one more time I'm gonna be putting all of this code on my forum so if you don't quite understand anything or if you just want to go grab it copy it and paste it play around with it go grab it there but for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.